Hi guys, welcome to Fishing Tackle Channel. It's been a while um, since I've uploaded any videos. Uh, I do have plenty of at least a half a dozen videos on my fishing trips, but I just I've been lazy with Christmas and New Year's. But hopefully this weekend I'll edit it and try to upload it. But anyways, someone, one of my subscriber, uh, commented asking whether I liked the Abu Garcia Beast or my 13 Fishing Concept A2. So I wanted to kind of answer that question as well as also compare it to one of these Daiwa Lexa. It's pretty well known. Uh, real as well as not so well known but underrated Super Duty 300 loose fishings. So when I purchased this, first of all, um, none of these are really high end. Maybe for those that have not been fishing, would consider it, but consider it as expensive for people that buy high end fishing reels. These are mid level or low level. So for me, I got it. For a pretty good discount, uh, very good price for these. So this one, <laughs> the concept A3. I'm sorry if I said A2. I also have an A2, but A3 um, retail is much higher. But I was able to get them as a not a refurbished, but Amazon warehouse for about um, how much was it? About 140 or so. With tax, it came out to be about 160 or something like that. But either way, I thought it was a great deal. It is right-handed, real. And then this one, I got it from Japan. Well, I bought it from Amazon, but it was sold by a Japanese seller. So this was an actual uh, Japanese domestic, I would consider, um, which is ironic because it's made in Korea. And this is also made in Korea, just so you know. 13 Fishing. Uh, Luz is also made in Korea. So something about made in Korea that I really like, uh, they do have good quality control. So I highly recommend looking at when you're buying. This one is also, I believe, made in Korea, Daiwa. So a lot of them are made in Korea, and that's because there are a lot of sports fishing, especially saltwater fishing uh, in Korea. And then they demand high quality control in that country, in that in that region. So, anyways, um, let me get to and let me go ahead and answer the question: Do I like Abu Garcia or do I like uh, Thirteen Fishing A Three? Uh, so far, but um, I've used this twice, and most definitely I would prefer A Three. Uh, they're both. In the $150, $160 range. Um, I'm pretty sure because prices went up a little bit due to production, not inflation, due to production and um, lower production. I think it is much more expensive, but when I purchased it, they were both in the $160 range. So this one, again, Amazon Warehouse, I got it sort of a return product. It's not a refurbished Amazon Warehouse if you search for it on Amazon. You could find a lot of good 13 fishing uh, return product. People have second thoughts of paying like $200, $300 and they return it and they turn it around. And it says it has blemish or some issues, but no, I have no issue. So uh, let's get back into what I was talking about. I prefer this because one, there's this clicker, drag clicker. I love it. And it's super smooth. So when I'm fishing with this, uh, I don't think I've ever been tired reeling with this. This is super smooth with the drag clicker. Um, I like the sound. And again, if you have your drag set properly, um, it'll, it'll only click if it's fighting back. For this one, surprisingly, if this were sold in Korea, they would have a drag clicker. Fortunately, it doesn't have a drag clicker. It does have the star drag clicker sound and your um, knob sound, but it doesn't have a drag clicker. And the handle is 
very similar, not that great. And then as for the Daiwa, um, I think I got this on sale for one nineteen. Uh, a buddy of mine, I told him, you got to get it. It's on sale for one nineteen, And he wound up getting it. I'm pretty sure he doesn't regret it. This is super s smooth, one of the smoothest. And again, it's Daiwa, right? What do you expect from a Daiwa quality control wise? Uh, just real wise, it's awesome. But no drag clicker. And it's as smooth as this. Um, uh, not this, but 13 Fishing. But it's a little bit heavier. Uh, so I don't use this as much. I should. <laughs> but just because I love this reel, I use this all the time. 13 Fishing is very underrated, I think. It's a great fishing reel. And one of my favorite, along with this, I would use mainly this one or this one. Uh, Lou Super Duty 300 and again, I bought this for like on sale on Amazon not a return product or Amazon warehouse I got this on, as a regular retail but on sale for I think 109 or 110 or something like that, but um, They don't advertise it as a saltwater fishing. I don't think M more like a heavy um cat fishing or pike fishing for freshwater but from the reviews i got and then the actual usage of it in salt water it's been great so far i've had again i've had i have two of these and i've had it for about three years with no issue at all i think the only fishing reel that broke on me so far among all the reels I've, I've had were Quantum. So I, I know people rave about Quantum um, online and things like that, but I probably wouldn't buy Quantum anymore. Um, but definitely 13 Fishing, I highly recommend as my ch top choice. Lou, Lou's, um, I don't know about other ones, but Super Duty 300, definitely with this. I love the sound of the drag clicker. And then this one, if you could, if you don't mind paying the extra price, it's quite expensive, I think. Lexa it goes for over 200 now. Again, I got this because it was 119 You got to look for deals. <laughs> um, you don't have to pay a lot. There's always going to be some deals on Amazon or other um, markets, online markets. And then this one, um, I've said it in my other videos only reason i bought this was i like abu garcia and it was japanese um domestic real is my understanding and then the exchange rate was incredible so normally this would normally cost me over 200 dollars because of the exchange rate i got it for a steep discount because of because dollar I think when I bought this I think one dollar was equivalent to about dollar forty in Japanese yen so you get what I'm saying and I got a pretty good discount by about forty percent so that's about it uh, if you have any more questions I'll make more videos like this based on your comments I think I have seen other questions about uh, the metal jigs whether it worked well and things like that I do have videos how well it works uh, but leave a comment and if you could click that uh, like button as well as if you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe and I'll make more videos like this to answer your questions.